Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about fingerprinting a web application firewall using WAFWOOF. Yes, the application does have a strange and funny name, but why do we even need to use it? Well, as pen testers or hackers, we don't need to be wasting our time trying to exploit or get access to a web-based application if it's behind a firewall. And if we're going to try to get past that firewall, we need to be able to identify it. And that's the purpose of WAFWOOF. WAFWOOF sends a normal HTTP request and analyzes the response. This identifies a number of WAF solutions. If it's not successful, it sends a number of potentially malicious HTTP requests and uses simple logic to deduce which web application firewall it is. If that is also not successful, it analyzes the responses previously returned and uses another simple algorithm to guess if a WAF or a web application firewall or security solution is actively responding to our attacks. So WAFWOOF comes pre-installed on Kali. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to update it. You don't have to download it. And so all you have to do is just open a command prompt and type in WAFWOOF, all lowercase, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the help menu. Now, to get to the help menu, all we have to do is type in WAFWOOF space dash small letter H. And you can see that there's a lot of different switches that we can apply to WAFWOOF when we're out looking to see if we're actually hitting a web-based application firewall. The current version of WAFWOOF has a pretty extensive database of firewall signatures that it can use to deduce exactly what firewall is currently in place in front of a web application. Now to see this list, I'm just going to type in WAFWOOF space dash small letter L. And you can see that it's pretty extensive. Now to check a website for a web application firewall, all you have to do is just type in WAFWOOF, give it a space, and then just type in the URL of that website. In this case here, I've just typed in WAFWOOF space certifiedhacker.com. And if I hit enter, it's going to come back in just a moment and tell me that certifiedhacker.com site is behind a mod security spider labs web application firewall. Now, if you didn't know that, you may be trying to get access to a web based application using a normal scan and you're not detecting that firewall, that firewall may be sending you back some type of information that you really can't use to exploit that web application server. That's why you have to take your time and do the reconnaissance correctly and begin with trying to detect and see if there is a web application firewall present. In this next example, we can take a look and see if Amazon.com is behind a web application firewall. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. Give it a second here to check. And it says that the site, HTTP, Amazon.com, is behind CloudFront, Amazon Web Application Firewall. We'll do one more here, and we'll add a couple of switches. We'll use the dash A to take a look at all firewalls that might be present. And then we'll tell it to use the verbose mode with the dash small letter V. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and it says that the site https www.ibm.com is behind a cache wall varnish web application firewall. So as a pen tester, a hacker, a bug hunter, whatever it is you're doing that requires for you to get up and try to test that web application, you need to ensure that it is or it isn't behind a web application firewall or you'll just be wasting your time. That's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about using WAFWOOF to detect the presence of a web application firewall. So if you have any questions, you got any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.